Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. I am coming on today with a design team project share for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. I have the new flip top drawer box uh, die that I finally got a chance to put together. Super excited to share it with you guys. Um, if you're not following my design team members, please check the description box below. I will link them in there so that you can check out their channels and be inspired to see what they have created with this die set. Um, this die set is the largest die set that I have in my store to date. I'm just saying it's a lot of dies, a lot of pieces, but it creates a really fun project. And I think that you guys are going to love it. Um, I think that this die set, uh, once it sells out, I will not be reordering because this die set is extremely, uh, costly to produce so um, if you think that you may want to pick this die set up I highly urge you to pick it up now because I do not think I will reorder this one but with that being said let me show you this die set there are several pieces but it's actually really simple to put together let's just say that so you have the base of your box so the die set will come just like this you have the back this creates the top portion of your box. Then this kind of just separates the dies. And then you have this piece right here that builds the box and the drawer, the little special like compartment drawer that comes with this die set. So you get all of these dies and as you can see, the layering pieces are all stitched and um, ready for you to layer your uh, 3D drawer flip top box. So let me show you what this creates. So, so adorable. So I decided to go in with a beach theme um, project for this particular box and I love the way it came out. I did use some other dies that are in my store, uh, scrapdivadesigns.com. So I did use the new um, summer words, the beach please. I used the new rose um, die that's in my store. That die set is sold out. I do apologize. I am, it is on reorder. So if you want to pick up this die set, you'll have to wait. It should be in in the next week or so. But that one did sell out really, really fast. But it's so pretty. And there are two tutorials by my design team members. Uh, Carol Herlock has a tutorial on this um, die set. And so does Cuddle Me Clay Tay. I will link them in the description box below. If you want to learn how to make amazing flowers, you need to follow those ladies because they are experts at what they do. I have to be honest, I am not the best flower maker. I do my best, but I'm actually happy with the way that that rose came out. It's not perfect, but I love it and I'm happy with it. So anyway, um, I layered it with those flowers and then the, um, the beach please words that are also in the store. And then if you get up close, you'll see that I did use the essentials bundle number two to create my ovals. And it does have that decorative detail with the stitching. I did pop it up, all, everything's popped up on foam to give it a little bit of dimension because I love adding dimension to my projects. You guys know that. And then on the top, I just added some bling that I had in my stash from Hobby Lobby. So this is the box and I'm just kind of giving you an overview. You see, you get all these layering pieces that come with the die set so you can layer your box beautifully. Even the side panels have the layering pieces as well. And then this is the front. The front even has a layering piece and then it has a place where, let me just show you, it has this piece right here that actually cuts out the hole and this little piece right there in the center actually does pop out. So you can basically use that as a guide. You can actually use it as a die, but it is very tiny, I must say. So if you do not like using or you're afraid you're going to lose a tiny die, just use your hole punch, your We Are Memories Keepers hole punch to create your hole. But you do have this layering piece that pops out that will give you the hole so you know exactly where your uh, little hole should go for your little drawer, drawer pull. And so that's what I did. I added that little drawer pull. Um, I did get that off of Alley. I've had it in my stash for a while now. So that's what I used on the front of my box. And I just love it. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so this just 
pulls out like so. So your box pulls out. Are you watching very, very carefully? This folds back. This goes up like so. And this slides down like that. And then you have a really fun decorative inside that you can sit on your desk like so. It's hard to see with the way my camera's positioned, but you get what I'm saying. It would sit like that on your desk. And you have that little nice, really fun beachy theme going on in the background to look at. So I decided to do beach theme. So I did use the summer pennant flags, the word relax, and then the oval. I did create an oval uh, shaker with the uh, essential bundles number two die set. Just a really fun um, mix. I even added some seashell sequins in there. These are just bits and pieces of ephemera from a collection that I had in my stash. The seashell uh, cabochon is from my stash. And then on the bottom, what I did was I added some of the sea uh, shells from the 3D sand bucket um, on the bottom. And then I sprinkled the bottom with glitter and added sequins because it this was the color in the paper and I just thought it was like a really fun effect for like sand. That was kind of like my idea. And I just thought, how cute is that? And then in the corner, I actually used the roll up flower die set because it kind of looked like seaweed a little bit. So that's kind of what I have in the corner back there. I don't know if you can see it that well. And then um, you've got just a really cute display. And what I love about this is, let me just, pull this back in so you guys can see, it has a little hidden compartment. So this pulls up like so, and you can put in a little goodie. Now, I did see Armin, who is Happy Mail Queen. She is on my design team, and she made one, and hers is a Father's Day themed one. She did one for her husband, and it was so, so cute. And she included the little lipstick, lipstick um, treat box that is available in my store right now. I think it's still available. It may be sold out. I'm not sure. Um, but I know that um, I do have more on the way if it is. But this die set actually fits perfectly into this little compartment. Now, you don't have to put a lipstick in there. You can put little goodies or little treats or something like that or maybe a small pair of earrings, whatever your heart desires. But I just thought, how cute is that, that this fits in there? So you could put your little chapstick in there. And since it's a beach theme, you want to put in some beach theme chapstick with like 30 SPF. If you're at the beach, you want to protect your skin, right? So I just loved that idea. I thought that was so clever. But um, again, you can put anything in this little compartment that you want. The little handle right here is actually just a brad. Very simple to just uh, poke through the little hole and include it in right there and your little goodies are good to go. So I love that idea. I did um, have to trim off a little snippet on the top of this die set to make it work. But once you do that, it does fit in there perfectly. And then you have that little treat um, that you can gift with this little gift box. So I just love the little hidden compartment. And I love the fact that you can just have this sitting here on your desk or in your crafty space and you have a really cute little card and you could totally insert a gift card in there if you wanted to uh, give a gift card that would be perfect because it would definitely fit and it's just a really nice presentation so i'm really loving this die set again i um highly suggest if you are thinking about purchasing this one Definitely do it now because I will not be reordering this die set because it just was too costly to manufacture. But I really feel like this is an awesome one to have in your crafty stash. Um, so yes, yeah, super, super excited about this one. I love it. There are so many um, fun examples of the flip top box, all in different versions. I will link the design team members that have created um, a project using this in the description box below. Go check out their videos and see their take on this um, flip top drawer box die set. You're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna have it for your crafty stash. All right, I will link the product information in the description box below. Of course, if you have any questions, just ask. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope you guys are doing amazing and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.